Hello, today we will speak about uh, the connection and uh, the insert and uh, update and delete and select uh, methods for, uh, between the BHP files and the database. Okay, using MySQL. So, in this video, we will speak about some code in PHP in MySQL and in HTML okay first of all we uh, speak about database connection we have to connect to the database using this code this code will be inserted in a config.php so we will make a connection file or a config configure file and extend it with BHP. Any PHP file should, should be extended with BHP. We start the BHP file with less than question mark BHP and close it with question mark and greater than. It's uh, similar to the HTML code. Instead, in HTML, we start with HTML and close with slash HTML tag. Okay. So to make the connection, we have four variables. Variable to contain localhost, and the variable to contain the root, which is the database username, and another variable to contain the database password, and another variable to contain the uh, database name, okay? The database name. Okay, uh, then we have to set a variable for the connection. When you use the function, which is MySQL, like connect, okay, and this function contains the ab above or the previous four variables. Note that the four variables contain localhost, root, password, and test, uh, which is the database name. These are Obtained from the web hosting site, okay, or the website which hosts the uh, database for the dynamic website, okay. After that, we check for the connection, this variable. If it is connected, it will get save a true, it will save true value. So, if it's true, not not true give this statement which is will give us an error and the message unable to connect database and uh, an error which of this function mysql li error and die it will close if it is true so not true will connect co will, co will will execute the statement after else which is message database connected successfully oh thanks go directly to the second thing which is inserting data into my sql mbhb here i will insert data in my sql database using my sql insert statement and this is the my sql statement Syntax, 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 syntax. Okay. So insert into, and this is the table name. And in the parentheses, we will set the columns which are in the table, and then values, and in parentheses also values. Each value is corresponding to H A column so value one will go to column one respectively now create a new file named insert.php the same such as config or .php and insert and insert php this file will be uh, 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 create using uh, notepad as example and uh, uh, name it insert.php okay the same like the previous file which is config but in this file, we 
we will include config PHP because we will in we use the variables the the variables and the the things which are in this in this above uh, file. So instead of repeating and copy and paste this code in every file we will use, we will use the name it the file itself by including it using the code of include so this very important statement in php include i include the code of the config.php without copying its code just write its name okay database configuration file okay now mysql lie select db underscore select underscore db mysql uh, mysql i underscore select underscore db here i use the variable of connection from this file okay which is here mm -hmm. uh -huh. this is which contains the statement of mysql like connect this one okay and the db name and the db name in lower database a name then i create the the new thing here is the insert because this related to insert values so i create a variable which is dollar sign sql and insert in it the statement of sql light insert into users this is the table name this is the field the first uh, field name and field the uh, first lower id where second the field the lower first name will last the name will email or first one will values the corresponding they had combat the google parentheses and null where uh uh that be be a parentheses we have a few quotation note that every sql uh, statement have to start with balance uh, quotation and the closure and if and the ends with semicolon okay okay note and notice this syntax is very important then this variable is very important my sequel in my sequel uh, which is dollar sign this bhb bhb variable each uh, uh, bhb variable should start with dollar sign and my sequel like Query of connection and SQL. So if this is good and working, executed correct, so the result of this function will be true and the true will be inserted in this variable. So I check this variable. If it's true, if it's not true, so if it's false, it will give him a true so user does not does not insert it and give error and this is error okay else if it's true it will be negative here zero so it will execute after else eco user inserted successfully oh thank us we can operate this file through localhost the project insert between all our files so i can it lower uh, the PHP the config uh, or insert are located in the project and I can operate it uh, from the browser by inserting localhost the project will find name okay description in the above example first we can optimize SQL to my uh, with my PHP using config.php file if you are working with many database then you can use mysql select db function for select database for particular position when we use insert into scientific query or mysql language for insert data into the database after that we use mysql query function for run mysql scientific query finally use if else condition to check data is inserted or not the third thing is select data from mysql in PHP اوكي okay. احنا دلوقتي هنعمل سيلكت داتا من الداتابيس بتاعتنا اللي معموله في الماي سيكوال يوزنج البي اتش بي اوكي سو ذا ستيتمنتس هير از سيلكت فيلد 1 فيلد 2 فيلد 3 اند سو اون فروم تيبل نيم سو ات ويل برينج اول ذا داتا ان ذيس فيلدز اوكي ان ذيس فيلدز 
in these fields of that table name okay let's do it the same we will create a new file but this name in this case select.php and insert the following code let's discuss this code let's say again include config .php. okay and my sql light select db to check okay the connection is go is working good or not okay okay it's working okay so dollar sign sql sql هنا نحط بتاعتنا ايه الجمله بتاعتنا اللي هي inside double quotations select from user here star so he will select all fields from this table which is named users okay so now we check if this statement working or not if it's working from here this function will check so query this query dollar sign query will count if it's working if this statement is working good and executed and get data from users so inquiry will be true will filled with true this variable will equal to true i will check if it's true or not from here if it's true so not true will execute after else but if it's false something is not is not uh, working here it will be false so it will not false will true echo query does not work my sql error we die if close but if it's true oh here i have another thing which i will start with why and do you know why it's working we started it in loops in loops okay so while data where data where data where data data it's a variable dollar sign data it's a variable which contain what is inquiry by this function what my sql light fetch array from query query executed okay and here's the data of sql from this my sql query okay the data is stored in query i would like to fetch this data row by row in, uh, in 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 this function row by row so the first row id so this is will be equal will be printed id equal and dot هياخد the data the id inside data inside data there is id and will be printed here and br it's a tag in html so in this file we have mixing between bhp code and my sql code sql qi sql code and html code so <clears throat> echo this bhp and the id with data this is sql and br is html okay and semicolon not every bhp code should terminate with semicolon also every sql code should terminate with a uh, semicolon and the second first name equal first name then from the data get first name and br terminate another new line of h of html and then equal last name where uh, for data last name and also br and so on so and finally to br in the final there will be another new line why new line for the next the next id first name last name email so it will repeat it until all the rows will be echoed and printed in the screen on, on this this is the result because there is only one row so uh, the, uh, this uh, when we get this result when we execute this in the localhost we just in, uh, open the browser and uh, write in it uh, localhost project select the okay
And you know, we prepared local host as we uh, told you using a WAMB or exam. Okay. The fourth thing is update data in MySQL with PHP. Let's change or update database record info by using MySQL update. So the statement here is the update, and this is the syntax of the update. Update a table name with set field equal a new value. Where the condition we have to set some field here where the value layer here fill field out or condition to be achieved. If the condition achieved, uh, field found uh, the data in this data or in this row, we will uh, set this uh, new value for this field. Okay. Uh, also create update uh, .php file okay and remember that you cannot update single record without any reference field you have to set a reference field otherwise all the data table or the table data will be updated create update uh, .php using notepad as example and the same include the config .php to connect to the database and set my sqlite select database connection with db name i should select the database name او ديتابيز سبيشال ديتابيز وبعد كده ال SQL هنا هنحط فيها ايه؟ it will be in certain it update ال 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 statement بتاعت ال update يبقى احنا قلنا كل فايل يبقى فيه ال statement الخاصة بيه ففي ال insert كان فيه ال insert وفي ال in the select they will be select and here we will update to change some values so you use the statement of update statement and then update field where في, uh, some table uh, which is users and set uh, first name this is, is, is uh, the, co the column or the field name okay okay and this is the value which will be set inserted and also in the last name another value in another a field will change and in the email change where id equal one this is the condition this is very important where ولما يكون ال ID is equal n or 5 or a or, or, or x it changes the values corresponding to this ID okay this is, this is the, the, the secret of or the, the key of this statement of this statement okay where the field is equal some value this is a condition then query query then query Check if this statement of SQL executed or not. If it's executed, the result will be here store true. Then we check if it's okay or not. It's true or not. If it's true, so the not of true false, it will execute here. Ah. It will, no, if it's false, not of false true. Query does not work. We did a function of error, we die, close. But if it's true, not of true false, it will execute after else. So database successfully updated. Okay, echo. Now open your browser and locate path localhost product update the PHP. If you make this, you will check your results. Check your results by trying it or uh. Uh, executing it in the browser okay opening the file in the browser the fifth thing and the last delete data in mysql using php to delete data from database you can use delete mysql syntax oh here also you want any reference you have to uh, get a reference field which data will you which row you will delete huh see the below example of more Oh, so the syntax here or the statements of SQL delete from table name where condition okay create a delete.bhp file the same as select insert update okay and then the first thing is to link to or include config bhp action connect with the database of MySQL and then MySQL select DB connection DB name it's connected or not uh, so it's connected so 
then select the statements of delete using SQL variable. Start with dollar sign. Delete from users where ID equal one. And note every SQL, every sorry, every BHP terminate with semicolon. Also, every SQL terminate with semicolon. Okay. Dollar sign query, MySQL query. The same. If it's working, this variable is working. So this variable dollar sign query will be true. If it's false, it not false will be true. So it will execute this statement and give error and close. But if it's true, not true, it's false. It will execute after else and after else echo data successfully deleted. Okay. Okay. If you would like the same like before. If you would like to execute it, browse it through your browser. I hope that you like this select insert update delete database operations in my SQL using BGB code tutorial. Please share it if you like this video with your friends, your colleagues. If you have any questions right in the description or the comments below and I will respond to you with any uh, comment or in another video. Thanks for listening. See you later.